Hello and welcome to the RaceBot Media User Guide. To begin with, navigate in the web browser of your preference to racebot.media. To use RaceBot Media, you will need both an iRacing and a Google account. To begin with, click on the button in the top right hand corner to log in with your Google account. You'll be able to pick the Google account that you want to use before you get redirected back to the website. At this point, you will go ahead and verify your iRacing account. This enables us to automatically rename the paint files in the correct file format. To do this, you will need your iRacing ID. You can find this by navigating to the account section of the iRacing website through the button on the main menu. Your customer ID is located on the right hand portion of this website. Copy this ID into the RaceBot Media input box to proceed with verifying your account. Once you enter this ID, hit the submit button and you'll be prompted to head on over to the iRacing forums to complete the next stage in verifying your account. To finish verifying your account, head on over to the iRacing forums. In your private message box, you will find a message from the RaceBot crew containing a link to finish the verification of your account. Click on this link and you'll be redirected back to the website where now you should see your iRacing name in the top right hand part of the screen. To submit your paint, you will need either the TGA file or in this case of the spec map, the MIP file. Begin by pressing the My Paint button for the series that you want to submit your paint for. You will have three options, car, helmet, and suit. When uploading a car, for series that have this enabled, you will be able to pick from multiple of the car options. Please note that per series, you can only upload a paint file for one car at a time. Click the browse button to find your TGA file and select it in this file browser menu. Once you have selected the file, you will still need to press the upload button to begin the upload process. Once you hit this button, a progress bar will appear. Once the progress has completed, a thumbnail will then appear as well as a confirmation message at the top of the window. Once you have uploaded your paint file, you will then be able to upload your spec map. Click the add spec map button and select the MIP file that corresponds to the paint file that you uploaded. Once you select this file, it will automatically get uploaded and you will be able to change it by clicking the same button. To remove a spec map, you will need to delete the paint. Uploading a team paint works much the same as uploading a paint for yourself. Find your team series, which is marked on the card, and then select the My Paints button. Click the Add Team button on the bottom right hand corner, and then select the menu item that pops up. You'll have the same three options for your team, as well as an additional option to enter your team ID. Please note you must be the owner of the team on the iRacing service in order to upload your paint file. This gets checked through the iRacing API. Select your paint file in the same way as before and then click the upload button to trigger the upload process. In the same way as before, once the upload has completed, you will both get the thumbnail as well as the success alert that triggers on your screen. You will also be able to add your spec map and in the case of a team series, a personal helmet. This personal helmet button can be found at the bottom of the card and does not need a team paint to be uploaded as well.